this is Nick Horrocks. Welcome to Inside the Digital Media's Final Cut Pro Tutorials. Uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create some textured text and then we'll use that to make a little title sequence for a, an imaginary TV show. So, first thing I need is a new sequence, so Command N and we'll call that text and open that up. Now I've already made some text in live type here We'll just pop onto the timeline there. We'll zoom into the timeline. Uh, now that's invisible at the moment because it's black text out of an alpha channel. So if we wanted to just check that, all we need to do is go to view, background and change the background to white. And there we are, there's our text. So we'll, we'll go back to a black background. So we've done the text, we've dropped it onto the timeline. Now we need a, a texture to, uh, to marry with that text and um, this is uh, one of the line screen collection it's quite nice and what we're going to do is view that through the text so we drop that onto the, uh, the on top of the text there now um, at the moment obviously we our text isn't visible so all we need to do is use one of the composite modes uh, a travel mat. Hey presto. There's our text. And now what we need to do is to make another sequence. So command N again. And we'll call this uh, Big World Titles. Okay. And we'll open that up. Okay. So what we're going to do now is nest the text sequence within the big title, the big world title sequence, the one we just made. But before we do that, we need to look at our background clip. And um, we're going to use this one, which goes like this. And uh, we're going to use that to drop our titles onto. Okay. So drop that onto our timeline. And to match our titles, we're going to make that green. So go to effects, um, color correction and RGB balance. So just open that up. I'm going to lose some of the red. Get rid of the pink bits. In fact, I quite like the pink bits. Let's leave them in a bit. And we'll lose a lot of the blue. That'll be fine for our purposes, I think. That'll be great. So now we've done that, let's just tweak the levels. And image control. So now we simply drop the text sequence onto there. Okay, and there's our text. Right, that's good. Now uh, what, what I want to do with that, I want to enhance that by trying to lifting it out of the background a bit more. So I'm going to duplicate that track, Alt Shift and drag up. And that gives us another layer on top on track three, and to that we will uh, we'll glow that. Now, if we open that by double clicking it, we'll just go straight into the uh, the sequence, and uh, we don't want to do that because we don't want to affect the layers in the sequence. We want to affect the sequence itself. So what we'll do is open in viewer, and that will open that sequence up in here. And um, what we'll do here is add a glow effect, uh, bloom. That's that's probably a bit much. And just change the levels on that layer as well. So image control again levels. Um, I 
that's better. Okay. Now what we need to do, I'll just lose these audio tracks, select the uh, tracks and command L and delete those and we're going to put some music on here which will be up here in audio let's drop that there and um, cut that off just check the uh, the level of that it will generally come in quite loud Now I want to look at the, uh, if we open that up, I happen to know that there is a moment in here where I want to put a flash. We just need to mark that point in here. We can zoom in here by command plus, so we can have a look at that. Okay, so it's that point there. So all I need to do is mark that by by clicking M and you'll see a little marker appear there. Now you'll notice it's also appeared on the timeline. So that shows me exactly where I want to put the flash. And to create the flash I'm going to use a slug, which is down here. Now I only want a few frames, say about six, so if we line that up and step forward six frames and hit an out, pop that there, Again, let's lose those audio tracks because they're pointless. And let's put a dissolve on that. Obviously that's black at the moment being a slug, so I'm going to invert the channel to make it white. Like that. Okay, let's... Uh, drag this out a bit. Let's move that up a bit. And we'll put a crossfade of a second on the end. Okay, so let's take the back to the head and we'll render that. Okay, so there you are, that's rendered. Uh, let's have a look at that. Okay, great. Uh, that seems to work. Well, I hope you found that useful. I'm, it's probably not to everyone's taste, that, but it shows you the process, the principles of working with textured backgrounds over layers. Okay, thanks for watching. Hopefully see you next time.